Hey guys, this is Kilimanjaro808 Bringing you another Airsoft review today It's been a while since I did one This is of the KWA M4A1 2007 2008 model So this is a first gen Of course, if you know me by now I love the first generation KWAs I'm a huge fan of the first gens Quick story on this gun Uh I knew about this gun for quite some time. Uh, my friend Cody Inouye, he's a high school classmate of mine. He's a year older than me. He graduated Milani High 2010. I graduated the year after him. This was his weapon. He had it since his freshman or sophomore year in high school. When he was big into airsoft and he held on to it all these years. And I uh, kept in touch with Cody well after high school and he had contemplated about selling this gun uh, at one time he was on the, in his senior year which was my junior year and he wanted like a crazy amount of money for it because he just upgraded the gun uh, before going to go any further the gun has some small upgrades so it has a system uh, high torque motor and system uh, gears I forget which ones they are I've been kind of out of airsoft for a long time, so the stuff that I used to remember, it's kind of, <laughs> it's somewhere. I just kind of don't remember what it was, but it was some, back in that, in the, you know, back when he finished the gun, when he bought the parts, those were top of the line stuff, so he didn't mess around. But anyway, I'm going to go straight into the review of the gun, and we can continue talking about it. Story anyway. So, as you can see, the gun does have a scope and a silencer, which are not included. I actually was lucky enough to get this with the gun. Start with the stock. Apologies about the zoom. I'm not sure what's wrong with my Samsung Galaxy tablet. Usually isn't this big. Okay, so the stock is 5 uh, sixth position, see that's how long I've been out. This is fully collapsed. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is made of plastic, nylon fiber. The buffer tube is metal. Pistol grip is plastic. That's your body right here. Okay, sorry about that, I had to take a phone call. So, I'm back. So, we're going back to the body, or the receiver, upper lower receiver. Excuse the camera quality, it's not that great, but it's decent enough. So, it's made of aluminum. It's all metal, aluminum. So, the upper is made of aluminum, as well as the lower. Get your bolt catch right here. Compared to other brands like Tokyo, I mean GMP, Tokyo Marui, JG, it's actually quite stiff. Trigger guard is metal. I mean aluminum, sorry. Again, not as much wobble as the other brands. Trigger, of course, is all, the same as every other brand. It's also aluminum. Select to switch aluminum. Save semi auto. Your takedown pins. Which are different. They have an Allen head screw on both sides, and the gun basically uh, this pin comes out, it drops on the other side, so it screws in to this takedown pin right here. So just open up, this will pop open, and then here's your other takedown pin if you want to separate the whole upper from the gun. So you got the Ford Assist right here. Plastic. The older models are plastic. The newer ones are metal. I know I had a, a few newer KWA M16s and M4s. I think I had two of them. So you got the charging handle right here. It's also aluminum. Got your dust cover. Your uh, ejection port. Your fake bolt right there. That's your hop up. We all know how to adjust our hop up on our M16s and M4s. I don't need to go into detail about that. I've had so many. Get your magazine release right here. It's right-handed only. 
Got the delta ring right here. This is metal. It does come with a carry handle. I have that stashed away. I bought that when he had the gun for sale for the first time five years ago. When he was asking, I think it was like $500 as soon as he finished it. But I bought that separate because he was selling some parts separate from the gun. This is a NC Star Scope. It's a 1 by 30 Um, I think it's dead. There's no battery life to it left. It's been sitting for so many years. It's red dot. No magnification. I don't know what kind of scope, I mean, rail mount this is. It is kind of neat. Because you, you're not only able to mount a scope, but you're also able to mount, say, like a flashlight or a laser on this side. Okay, so we're moving up to the handguard right here. This is also made of nylon, I mean, yeah, nylon plastic, nylon fiber. Uh, this is kind of the downfall of the gun, mainly because, all, as we all know, with most M4s, this is where the battery goes. And it also, compared to like Classic Army, G and G, which I have both of them, it's a little bit on the cheaper end. Even the stock a little bit, it's a little bit on the cheaper end, but oh well, get what you pay for. He added this um, handguard rail on the bottom, as you can see right here, it's made of aluminum. Got the sling mount on this side, and the front sight, which are made of aluminum as well. If we can get that, there is your front sight post. Your outer barrel is aluminum, your inner barrel is brass. It, and this is a KM head 200 millimeter silencer. It's made in Japan. I don't know if KM head still makes these, but it's really neat. Similar to the King Arms one I had way back during the same time. It's the same one, same style. It's screw on, screw up, screw off. It's threaded, I mean, not a QD. And you can take it apart from the front, or you can take it apart from here in the rear. Just for trademarks, I know that this is one of the first KWAs. Because the first KWAs had this, KWA Corporation, and then I have two other KWAs here. This is my M16. I don't know if you can see it. So in 2009, they moved to this. As you can see, they don't have the corporation mark. These guns are so nice, I don't even like touching them all the time. Basically, they just <laughs> sit for most of the time. And I also have another M4 here, very similar to this one. As you can see again, if we can get this in the light. That we did away with the corporation. Just his plain KWA right there. And just put the gun back. I'm gonna pause for a minute. Okay, the sling does not come with the gun. This is something I had lying around. As you can see, I made my own sling mount for the rear. Basically, I just took a blue D ring, hooked it on. I had like this old sling from like a vacuum cleaner and I mounted it. Oh, one neat thing about all KWA M4s, even some of the SR, SR10, SR12, I mean SR10, the carbine, the carbines, is they come with this one point sling mount and I like that. I mean, not that I'd use a one point sling, but should I decide to, at least it comes installed in the gun. I didn't take notice of that until I got my second or third KWA M4. But yeah, it feels good. It's got some good weight to it. Obviously, this is not the first one I've ever had. I've had many. <laughs> and now I have two KWA M4s and one KWA M16. As you've seen, 
Yikes. Well. So it came with a Intellect 9.6 volt 1600 mAh battery. It's butterfly type as you can see it goes into the handguard. Came with this ring mount. This is the stuff that Cody gave me. Uh, I'm not sure what I'd be able to use this for, but it'll come in handy one day. Original magazine, it's a high cap. 300 rounds. It's advertised as 360, but really only holds 300. And the simple wall charger. This might come in handy should my smart charger break. And of course the scope and the silencer were included. And that's all I have to say about this gun. Let's try to hold it up and see what it looks like. And it feels good. I don't like any grease and oil on my weapon. But I must say, it feels pretty good. And that's been the review for the KWA M4A1 2007-2008 model.